Hello everyone, in this video I am going to solve few issues which you were facing while displaying the images on a, a product page. So actually I implemented in the last video that how we can uh, filter the images on the basis of color variant. Here you can see that I have selected dark navy. So only dark navy images are displaying if I am selecting charcoal. So only charcoal in the same way if I see white then only I see white. So actually the problem was like uh, here uh, people were selecting uh, stagged or maybe if they are selecting two columns so you can see that if I am selecting two columns it is also working fine charcoal dark navy yeah if I am selecting any other for example thumbnails and let me save the changes and let me refresh it again so if I am selecting this one like IC white or maybe charcoal so these additional images are also displaying so how we can solve it I will be showing you step by step and in the same way if I am selecting thumbnail carousel clicking on save let me refresh it again here you can see that if I am changing the uh, color variant so again same problem is let me quickly show you that how you can solve this issue firstly you should go to the dashboard here you can see that I have uh, some changes I am going to undo all these changes let me click on original click on save I am also going to undo from here and let's follow the steps uh, once again so here we go you can see that I am here on dashboard this is down theme if you have any other uh, free theme free themes are these one like down theme spotlight refresh sense craft and total 12 themes are free so if you are implementing this code to them then uh, definitely that will work let's go to the documentation so the first thing is like update alt text of images in the gallery for each product so what does it mean it means that you should go to the products and here you can see that we have for example uh, this product I am selecting so you should have all these images here in the gallery and all these uh, color variants should have a main image and so I have to copy the color name from here and then I need to click on this image click on add alt text and paste that name and then click on save so in that way you will able to uh, add all the alt text for these images so in the same way here you can see that I have already added in this I see white in this we have also icy white and here we have charcoal so all the images have already added all text if you don't have added you need to add it again second step is go to snippets uh, open product dash media dash gallery dot liquid so here we have the dashboard uh, you can go again online store click on these three dots click on edit code and here you need to uh, find gallery you can see that we have product dash media dash gallery dot liquid and inside of it we need to find this product dash media dot dash item so here we have to use control F and you can see that this is highlighted so what exactly we have to find out here is like we have a for loop and we have media in product dash product dot media all right so this thing you also copy and paste it here and you can actually find it you can see that these are in two places first is in the line number 91 and second is in line number 236 all right so let's say we are interested to uh, display our uh, images with using thumbnail as well as thumbnail carousel all right if this is the case then you only need to add uh, additional code in line number 36 loop so in this loop actually we have a li tag you can see here we have this li tag and inside of this opening li tag you can see that this li tag is closing here just above it we are going to paste this specific code so I pasted that code then clicked on save and let me uh, follow the second step which is go to assets go to global.js so we need to find global.js and inside of you need to copy this line of code and you need to find it here so you can see that this is highlighted here so inside of it we are going to call this function you should copy this line and paste it just above if if condition just above it we need to paste it and then after we need to paste this code from here to uh, end end of this closing tag I mean as a new function 
so this function is uh, starting from here to here and just below it we are adding a new function and then click on save so now I am going to use uh, thumbnail carousel it is already saved let me refresh this page again now you can see that we have these carousel uh, so if I am selecting charcoal so this is working fine if I am selecting dark navy this is also showing ice icy white this is showing so that means this is working perfect if I am selecting thumbnails only let me click on save and let me refresh it again here you can see that I am clicking on charcoal I am clicking on dark navy so this is working fine but if I am selecting two columns or maybe stack and let me refresh it back now you will see that this is not working fine in, in order to use these two features you need to add one more time this specific code to I mean this code which I have here you need to add this code to the first loop which I mentioned you before so this was the first loop for media in product dot media and another is about this one in line number 91 so inside of line uh, inside of this loop we also have ally tag inside of this ally tag I am going to paste this new code again and then click on save once changes are saved and if I am refreshing this page again now you can see that we have filter option enabled dark navy is also working charcoal is also working icy white is also working and if I am selecting two columns let me click on save and let's refresh it back here we go you can see that all the images are filtered perfectly so that means this is working so the main problem was that in order to use it in uh, thumbnail carousel you need to remove uh, one code for example I am refreshing this again and selecting this you can see that this problem is again happening so if you are interested to use these two features thumbnails and thumbnail carousel then you need to remove this code from first loop all right and if you wanted to use these two features stacked and two columns then you need to keep this uh, keep this code all right i think you understood the pro uh, process for example i am removing this let me save these changes and let me refresh it now you can see that this problem is solved for what carousel and thumbnail carousel these both will work fine let me refresh it back now you can see that these carousel options are perfectly working fine so in order to uh, uh, use for stacked what we have to do is we have to undo this code we need to paste this code in the first loop then click on save and let me switch it back to uh, stacked then click on save and if we are refreshing back now you can see that this is working also fine are you getting the point if I am selecting two columns clicking on save let me refresh it back and here we go now you can see that this is working the way we want it to so this is how I solve the problem if you are facing the issue uh, in any other theme or maybe you have the problem definitely you can contact me I will help you out in that so uh, thank you so much for watching this video if you are new on this channel then please like this video also subscribe this channel thank you once again see you in the next video